Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you finally the kitchen tour. It was a long process. Some minor things are still not done, um, but they're currently working on the laundry room. So at least the kitchen is usable and we're back to business in the kitchen. And I've learned a lot of things about the appliances we got and I'll kind of go over all that with you while I do this video. So we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the tour and then um, we'll go over like the appliances and some stuff that I learned and yeah, so. I hope you guys are excited as I am, so let's get busy into the kitchen tour. All right, first thing you're gonna notice is I'm standing by the front door. There's no more wall. The wall is gone. So now it is just a wide open layout and I love it. Um, custom kitchen cabinets. These are not, I don't know what you wanna say, buyable. They are handmade to fit to size and hand painted and stained. Uh, so that is nice. In here I have some extra cleaning chemicals, my crock pots, my blender. In here I have like our extra Ziploc bags, coffee maker and kitchen maid, and then our like hand sanitizers and wipes and stuff like that. Is a lot of my baking goods, sugar, flour, brown sugar, baking soda, frosting, coffee, uh, stuff like that. And then in this one, we have additional baking and then some craft supplies that I didn't have room for, but they're kind of in here temporarily right now. These cabinets, the cabinets are the soft closing cabinets. And then we'll start over here. This obviously was extended way into here. Um, I got different bar stools. Don't mind my washer out there, but they now match my dining room table and they're smaller and they don't stand up as high so they don't block your view. This would be looking out into the eating kitchen area. So now we're gonna come along into the kitchen. Here is when you're coming in from the doorway. You have a smaller island here, which I wasn't even gonna do an island, but we decided to do it. All of these cabinets are shaker, is the style, soft close. I wanted more drawers than cabinets, so we went with drawers here. My dishwasher is amazing. It is top of the line cafe. We didn't want to go with base appliances, so um, this dishwasher has your silverware rack. This also has the the jets for your hydro flasks and whatnot. So you have three racks and then it also has jets if you want to do your silverware in there for extra silverware. It's very quiet. It cleans very well. You don't really have to pre-wash uh, your dishes. We went with black faucet and black quartz granite sink. So there's that. Okay, I'm gonna hop back over here because I probably should just show you guys what's in the drawers. So here's just odds and ends. Here's where I did uh, Tupperware storage. This is my knife storage. This is for more bigger, like bigger Tupperware and whatnot. This right now, I'm not done organizing all this. This is silverware and straws for your cups. This is my good dishes holder. This is like my plastic and my extra silver, uh, dishes. Cleaning, obviously. Towels. Cleaning and the dog's meds. Trash, recycle. Nothing is in here, I just put my potatoes in here. <laughs> so I did the cafe line fridge. It's huge, uh, deep storage. Everything's just kind of thrown in here. Um, has the refill pitcher for your bottled water. And then the drawer here, you can either make this a second freezer or your cold cuts, whatever you want, or it can just be part of your refrigerator. And then your, this is also a cafe. Every appliance is cafe. So here's your freezer. You have a drawer, your ice maker, another drawer. And then what's cool about this, if you, this leans down for like your frozen vegetables, great for storage. 
above there, I have nothing. In here, I have cups and our large cups. Storage bags, pot holders, parchment paper, Reynolds wrap, cooking bags, cutting board. This is where on my lids I'm, get, I'm getting an insert. This is my spice rack. Induction cooktop, and I will get back to that in a minute. Um, I did the pot filler. This here is your pots and pans. Also pots and pans here. This is your utensil holder. Extra utensils. Mixing bowls. Mixing spoons. I have a lot of room in this kitchen that I just haven't organized yet. Uh, this comes out. It's a double. Comes all the way out. I'm not going to pull it all the way out, but there's two there. And then in here I have like extra Tupperware and small appliances. This is all my cooking stuff, so it's nearby. This is an extra cabinet. I just threw this stuff in here so we can make quick sandwiches and stuff for lunch. Um, and then we come over to the double oven slash microwave. Now, Cafe does something really cool. So this is a convection. So anyways, this is a, um, can be used as a microwave or, or an oven. So you can choose microwave, oven, and then there's those choices. Can be con convection, air fry. So yeah, pretty cool to have, you can either use it as double oven. So like at Thanksgiving, we used it for double oven. Um, or a microwave or an air fryer or whatever. Uh, up here, I just have paper plate. Down here is all of the parts for the... You gotta be kidding me. Guess what I found. Um, I've been looking for these handles. So yeah, there they are. Um... These are all your parts and stuff for your microwave. I haven't gone through that. And then down here are, are like cooler bags and lunch boxes and stuff. Now on to the island. Nothing in this drawer. Nothing in this drawer. These have those pots and pans. That. And then cookie sheets in here. So yeah. So these countertops are quartz and I forget the name of them, but now we have, and it's funny because I can't reach across to clean. So, so we have this huge peninsula here, the kitchen from this side, there's the kitchen from there. That is my laundry room. That's where the pantry will be. The range hood came from a company called Hoodsley. It was custom order. It's your range hood. One thing I was going to say about this is I just got these pots and pans and I had to call service out for my cooktop because it wasn't cooking and it wouldn't stay on. Well, you have to buy very nice and expensive, even those views were nice. These pots and pans are not good enough for a convection cooktop. Uh, neither are these. So when you put them on, I will show you. You have to turn them on and then you adjust this way. You hear that noise? That's because there's not enough metal and to make the connection. So, at some point, I need to get new pots and pans, but, or you live with the noise, 
The only bad thing is sometimes they won't cook. It'll just keep shutting off. Well, when we were cooking Thanksgiving, uh, me and Grandma couldn't figure out why it kept shutting off and shutting off and shutting off. And we were like, what the heck? So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> um, and then my dishwasher that was sticking out a bit um, on this edge here supposedly fixed it but i'm still moving it so hmm. i don't know i'll have to ask about that if you guys have any questions or anything about the kitchen let me know um i do these two where are we those two lights right there i have four six these two lights are going to be pendulant lights um i bought them already we just haven't had time to hang them up so uh, yeah that's kind of where we're at um i have to finish some trim on the range hood uh, add some trim pieces and whatnot and then obviously flooring the flooring is fine the way it is we do plan to do flooring someday i don't know when um, but it works for now so I'm gonna give you an overview of the kitchen and then you, you guys can comment down below what you like best about the kitchen. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna get into the tour part of the kitchen. that is it for the kitchen tour and the kitchen reveal uh, the next one I will be doing is the laundry room uh, I will be so thankful to have my pantry next to my kitchen instead of in the bathroom <laughs> but it was worth the wait I think it turned out amazing um, all of the upgrades we did turned out nice I think it turned out great so comment down below what your favorite part of the kitchen is and let us know and hopefully you guys have a great day thanks for joining us in this video i know some people aren't into the tours and whatever but for those of you who are i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did it helps us out and i will see you guys tomorrow back in another video bye Thank you.